Hi everybody, Alex Blore here from Expert Forex and in this video I am addressing a very very important concept that very few traders realize. You can use any robot or any strategy for prop trading and on a daily basis we get emails we say please what is your best prop trading robot and in fact all of our robots can be used for prop trade now so watch this video very carefully because it will tell you how to convert any strategy that you're using or any robot not only expert forex robots any robot to meet the requirements of prop trading. It is very simple. Now the other benefit that you will see in this video is that what I'm going to be showing you is not a strategy to qualify for the prop trading or get to, through their qualification phases because most traders seem to just focus on that. They just want to get through those initial qualification stages. They forget that prop trading is about trading one or two years into the future. Now the solution I'm going to show you today is exactly that. This covers the qualification phase but it also gives you the ammunition to trade one or two years into the future if you understand the principles i'm going to show you you are safe when you are doing your prop trading it improves your safety when you are doing prop trading and gives you a long life in the prop trading activity so let's start with the prop firm requirements and most of them look something like this now there are huge variations i am using this as an example to illustrate how you should go about converting your strategies and robots to meet the prop firm requirements so most of them say income must be twice the drawdown level so uh, they're looking for income of let's say 10 percent on the account and then they say maximum and i stress the point maximum drawdown should not exceed five percent so that's more or less what a lot of prop firms are, are looking for some have reduced that requirement some have increased that requirement but for purposes of this exercise let's assume that is what the prop firm is looking for this means that you need an income to maximum drawdown ratio so i'm getting into a bit of math mathematics here of 200 percent so the 200 percent comes from taking the uh, taking for instance uh, income of thousand dollars and a drawdown of eight uh, of five hundred dollars thousand dollars divided by five hundred gives you two twenty percent or two times so we come back to income must be twice the drawdown so let's so that's the base case this is what we set out to meet we want to beat those requirements set by the prop firms and that's all you need to concentrate on with prop firms that's that is if that if if you focus on that you can't go wrong with prop firm trading so if that's the prop term trading what what do you need so you need a trading strategy or robot that has a proven record you know you can't start with a new a robot or a new strategy and go straight into prop trading you need a track record and and this track tra record should ideally have an income to drawdown ratio of 300 percent so not 200 percent because that's the entry level you want to be a lot safer and to be safer you double the and to be safer you increase that requirement to 300 percent so we moved from 200 percent income to drawdown ratio to a 300 percent so we've built in a safety buffer very important you have to really always with prop firms build in safety buffers so what happens is you must probably need an income of 1500 and a maximum drawdown of 500 uh, 1500 over that gives you a 300 percent ratio or a three times ratio so your income is three times that of your drawdown if your trading strategy and your robot produce 
that ratio, that 300% ratio, then you can do clever maths to fit your strategy into the prop firm. So find, finding the strategy is one step. But if you don't do clever maths to fit that strategy into the prop firm, you will not succeed. So that is what I'm going to be showing you further. Now to do that, I'm going to take an example of our recently launched expert hedged robot that has now built up a track record of almost two months. And here you can see some of the best accounts uh, and the settings for those particular accounts that we provide traders and users of this robot, but also potential traders and users. So this schedule you see now is actually on our marketing page. So before you even buy, we say, look, here, here's the uh, settings that we're using and here are the results. So one, one of the key things in here is that we calculate the maximum drawdown and we also look at the closed gains and we say, OK, what is our income to drawdown ratio? And there it is, return on drawdown. And uh, that's another way of saying income to drawdown ratio. And you can see many of them, not all of them have nice ratios over 300 so there's a 300%, there's 300%, there's 300%, and there are two with 300%. There, there are some over 200, but if you use 200, you are risking it a bit, but there are some 200% 200, 200 ones there too. And the big thing about these trading accounts is that the maximum drawdown tends to find its level. In other words, it doesn't grow much after a, a while of trading, but the income grows nicely. So these ratios improve over time all the time. Okay, so we're going to be taking one of these accounts and I'm going to show you how I convert that account into a prop trading account. And the one we're going to use is the one that's actually on our link service. So you can actually go into the link service and link to this particular account. It's called Link H8. And there you can see a chart of the growth of this account. The red line is the equity and the blue line is the balance. And then down here, you can see the floating profit and loss. So those are the actual uh, drawdowns that occurred over time. And that's showing just over a thousand dollar drawdown. So what we have here is we have an account that's generated roughly six thousand dollars. So we've got income of six thousand dollars. We've got a start balance of ten thousand dollars that's what this account started with and we have a maximum drawdown that looks like one thousand one hundred using the fx blue floating profit and loss this particular chart is based on day end balances so it is not that accurate so what i like doing is i go and look for the floating profit and loss cash on an hourly basis so FX Blue will break it down on an hourly basis and tell me what the actual drawdowns were on an hourly basis. And here you can see it tipped on 2000, but has improved dramatically since then. But 2000 is more or less the uh, maximum drawdown. So that's, that's the chart you need to have a look at. There's an analysis section. You click on that and you just go to charts and select that one. And that's the one that I like using for this kind of analysis. So let's get back to the maths and the process. So we have an account with a 300% income to maximum drawdown ratio. So we that account has a 6 thousand income and it has a maximum drawdown of two thousand so that's where our nice three hundred percent comes from or three times but this account has been traded on a thousand dollar account and the initial lot sizing used in this account was 0.1 and i'll show you where you get that figure and i'll show you where that figure comes from in a future slide so so we want to enter the prop firm opportunity and we want to use a hundred thousand dollar account how do we convert safely from a ten thousand dollar account to a hundred thousand dollar account 
So if we simply multiply the results by 10, because 100,000 and we're using a $10,000, so that's a factor of 10, the results will have been an income of 60,000, but a drawdown of 20,000 using an initial lot size of 1, which is point, uh, 0.1 multiplied by 10. So, so that's a very simple conversion. We just multiply everything by 10, and that's what we can do. And this is very easily done with most ro robots by increasing the lot size by 10 times and any dollar-related settings. And I'm actually going to show you an example of that. So this is the, the, the initial calculation that you do. But we have a problem because the prop firm says on a... <laughs> $100,000 account, I want a maximum drawdown of only $5,000. Now, the year we have a maximum drawdown of 20. So this initial calculation will not work. We have to move into more advanced calculation. So just to repeat, the income of 60,000 with a drawdown of 20,000 using lots of that is too much for the prop, uh, the prop firm. That drawdown is way too big. So what we do is we're only looking for an income of $10,000 on that $100,000 account and a drawdown that never exceeds $5,000. Because remember, that's our goal uh, and that's the setting uh, the requirements of the prop firm. So we must reduce income to $10,000. So it is a currently 60,000. We have to reduce it down to 10,000 by dividing by six because it is generating 60,000. We want 10,000. So we have to divide it by six. So if we do that, it gives us income of $10,000. That's what the prop firm wants. And that's what we're giving it. But it gives a maximum drawdown of 3,333, which is 20,000 divided by 6. You also have to divide that by 6. And it also means that we need to adjust our lot size by 6. So instead of using 0.1 lots, we have to divide it by 6. And it, that gives you a 1.7 lot size. Now, that is perfect for the prop firm because drawings are well below 5%. Income is what they want. And you now know that if you trade this robot, you need to use a lot size of that. And that is the secret of converting your, tra your trading strategy or your, tra uh, your tr robot trading results into a strategy that will meet the prop firms. You have to bring it down to a level where you are meeting the income requirements you are way below the drawdown requirements and you know we, what lot size you need. Okay, so now that, those are the calculations. I'm going to show you a practical. So, so here are the settings that I showed you earlier for account 33. That's the one that we looked at. That was link 8 and it's been running for 42 days, not that long, and the gains per day has been 133 day so so there's some good stats there but the only changes you need to make you see it's traded on a 15 minute there's the moving average you don't need to change anything because anything related to pips and things like that you don't need so the only change you need is to make that initial lots you need to make it 1.7 there we are and you go down here yeah, and and that initial take profit is in pips so you don't worry about that and here's the only other dollar amount that you need to do it's currently 44 set for that amount so we now need to increase that because we are not using 0.1 we are using 0.7 so uh, need to, uh, so that's that divided by the 0.1 times the 0.7 and you get 68 so the only changes you need to make here is change that to 1.7 and that to 68 and then you have settings that you can use on a hundred thousand dollar prop trading account so that's how the maths was now if you don't understand the maths too well re-watch this video once twice three times if you have to but you this is 
critical. If you ever are ever thinking of becoming a prop trader, you have to get your initial lots perfect. You also have to make sure that you're using a 300% income to risk ratio and then you are away. You can go and prop trade. Your chances of success have just multiplied tremendously. So the final conclusion, you can use any robot or any strategy for prop trading if you have a 300% plus income to maximum drawdown ratio and you use adjusted settings for that take the account size into account. Now to many traders, this video will be a revelation. They have never thought of prop trading in this way. It also answers the question, which is your best robot for prop trading? Uh, you can go through our linked account service. You will see the most amazing return on risk ratios. In other words, income to maximum drawdown ratios in those accounts. So you have huge amount of accounts that are potentially prop trading material. All you need to do is do the math that I've shown you now to adjust that lot size to be perfect. It has to be pretty perfect for prop trading. As always, links to our link to success service and to the expert forex hedged EA that are shown in this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the commentary of the video. What I've shown you here and I've used, only used the hedged EA as an example applies to all of our EAs. They all are generating fantastic income to drawdown ratios. I've now given you the tools to go and find those gems in our linked account results. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.